Hello, Rosendale. I hope you're all well. Um, it is Friday, Friday, the 5th of November, which means it is not just any ordinary Friday. It is Guy Fawkes Day, also known as uh, Bonfire Night or uh, Fireworks Night. Um, it is also actually Diwali this year. The Hindu Festival of Lights uh, has been taking place this week. I think today is Padua. Um, not sure if I'm, if I'm saying that correctly. Anyway, yes, but I'm going to talk to you today about um, about Guy Fawkes, because I think that uh, even though it's a story that perhaps lots of you are familiar with, I feel that it's always worth uh, going back to it because it's a fantastic story. I love the story of Guy Fawkes. Um, and I wonder how many of you know the history of this this particular day, November the 5th. I suspect that maybe some of uh, the younger children in Rosendale don't know the history. So that's what my assembly is about today. Um, tonight, you will be hearing lots of fireworks going off. Um, and it may be the case that you're letting some off in your uh, back gardens, perhaps, or you might be going to a firework display. I know that uh, traditionally, there's been a display in Brockwell Park. Not sure it's happening this year. Crystal Palace usually has a display. Um, but I think the nearest one to us is, is possibly Beckenham. Anyway, you will, I'm sure, be hearing fireworks later today. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about why we celebrate fifth, the 5th of November. Um, I'm going to start by showing you a short animation. So prick up your ears and uh, watch carefully. This is going to give you some of the background to the story of Guy Fawkes. Why did the gunpowder plot happen? I look forward to the 5th of November every year. Fireworks, bonfires, <gasps> toffee apples. I love bonfire night. He doesn't, poor guy. That's his name, Guy Fawkes. He lived a long time ago. I heard his story from my mum, who got it from her mum, who got it from her dad, who got it from, oh, you get the idea, all the way back in history to a rat who lived over 400 years ago. Look, that's her. The year was 1605. It was very different then. The apples were pretty similar though. People had just started to play early versions of football and tennis. There was no TV. People loved going to the theatre. And on Sundays, everyone in the country went to church. It was the law. If you didn't go, you'd be in trouble. Big trouble. Here, look. That's King James I. He was the king and head of the Church of England. So everybody had to go to his kind of church. Arguments about religion like this had been going on for ages. If you secretly belonged to another type of church, the Catholic Church, you'd be punished badly. So this is the world of my ancestors' story. The story of Guy Fawkes and the gunpowder plot. A plot is a secret plan. Here, look, shh, shh, shh. These men are plotters. They think nobody can hear. Let's listen in. Gentlemen. Thank you for coming. Nice hats. I've invited you here because the king is treating Catholics like us very badly. It's not fair. I'm very, very angry. And I think you are too. Am I right? Oh, it's, it's a disgrace. Right. We've got to do something to stop the king treating Catholics badly. And I know what. We must kill the king. Oh, won't that make us the baddies? Treating them badly. Ooh, is he uh, so hey, he's 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 So, who's ready to hear my clever plan? <laughs> so, that was Robert Catesby, the leader of the plotters. It was his idea, not Guy Fawkes. Maybe he should be on the bonfire. Catesby is going to need a cunning plan to kill the king. 
kings were guarded by soldiers, so it won't be easy. OK, listen to my clever plan. Actually, let's call it a plot. Sounds even clever that way. The king is going to visit the Houses of Parliament. Then we attack him. <laughs> <laughs> the plot is to blow up the whole building. When he's inside. Boom! Yes, the stop takes me! <laughs> After that, Catholics like us can take over the country. I feel as if I can smell it already. Mmm, burning. And here he is at last. Meet Guy Fawkes, an expert at blowing things up. I like blowing things up. So, the plot was agreed. Guy Fawkes was to carry out Robert Catesby's plan to blow up King James I in the Houses of Parliament, an important building where important people meet to make important decisions. What do you think happened when they tried to kill the king? All right, that is a good question. What do you think happened? So there's Guy Fawkes with about 30 kegs of gunpowder, um, a box of matches underneath the uh, House of Lords where the king is going to be with all his courtiers. What happened next? Could you turn to your partner, your shoulder partner, and for about 10 seconds, just uh, have a quick discussion, the two of you. What do you think happened next? OK. All right. Everybody face this way. Well, if you said that Guy Fawkes didn't blow up the House of Lords and the King, you are correct. He didn't do it. He was caught and he was caught with a box of matches in his pocket. At the time, he went by the name Guido Fawkes. Um, and as the, show, the short film explained, Guy Fawkes was the explosives expert. He was the man that Robert Catesby used. Um, Robert Catesby was the leader of this group of conspirators, this group of Catholics who were very angry with King James because they weren't allowed to um, they weren't allowed to to worship uh, their Christian faith in the way that they wanted to as Catholics. That nobody could in 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 the country at the time, and so he wanted to get rid of the king and take over. So him and his conspirators, and um, I will show you a, uh, a picture of the conspirators now. OK, there they were. Robert Catesby um, fled London with the other uh, with the other plotters and um, they were chased, of course, by King James's uh, soldiers. And a few of them were killed in a shootout. I can imagine it was all particularly dramatic at the time. At one point they were they were holed up. They took refuge in a in a, in a house in the countryside just outside of London. The conspirators had got caught in the rain. And uh, their gunpowder, which they used to, to shoot their muskets, as the guns at the time were called, the gunpowder got, got wet. And you can't fire a musket if you've got wet gunpowder. Amazingly, they spread the gunpowder out in front of a fire to dry it out. What do you imagine happened? If you put gunpowder in front of an open fire, one of the things that is very likely to happen is a spark is going to jump out and ignite it. And that's what happened. The gunpowder blew up in their faces, injuring quite a few of the conspirators. Anyway, eventually uh, they were caught. I think four or five of them were, were shot in a shootout with the King's soldiers. The rest were caught, brought back to London, put on trial, found guilty. And as you can imagine, this was 400 years ago, uh, they were put to death. That's what happened uh, for, uh, for, for, for what's known as high, high treason, which is where you are acting against the King. 
uh, plotting against the king in the most dastardly way, right? They wanted to kill the king. So there was no way that these, these men were going to survive. Um, so they were put to death, including uh, Guy Fawkes. Now, interestingly, it's known as Guy Fawkes Day. You know, you'd sort of imagine, wouldn't you, that it ought to be called Robert Catesby Day. I mean, he was he was the leader after all. Um, but it's forever been called uh, Guy Fawkes Day. And one of the things that used to happen, you don't really see this so much now. You saw it a little bit when I was a child, which is quite a long time ago now. But children would make uh, a guy, they would stuff um, clothes with uh, with straw and give him a, give him a head and a hat and put him in a wheelbarrow and they would take this guy uh, around their neighborhood and people would would give them money and they would say penny for the guy i haven't seen that being done for many many years i wonder if there are any parts of the country where that still happens and then in the evening the guy would be placed onto the bonfire and of course, the fireworks that are let off, you know, remind everybody of the, you know, the explosions, I suppose, that may have happened if, if, the, uh, if Guy Fawkes and his, and his fellow conspirators had been successful. Um, and it's just, a, it's, a, it's a lovely celebration. And um, one of the few times, actually, during the year that you can, you can hear and see fireworks um, doesn't often happen now. So look out of your windows tonight and um, see if you can spot any. So that's the story of Guy Fawkes, and that's why we celebrate this thing called Guy Fawkes Day, or Bonfire Night. Have a wonderful rest of the day, everybody. Uh, enjoy the fireworks tonight, if you can see them or hear any. Um, remember to keep your pets inside. Pets don't really like uh, the sound of loud bangs. Um, all right, and I will see you soon. I think we'll finish with some fireworks. All right, bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.